Well, that was a nice long nap, wasn't it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> uh, the, today is time now. I had an hour. I had about two hours of sleep. Well, three hours of sleep, to be honest. It is now boom, boom, boom. Almost sixteen hundred hours, which is not too bad. We're gonna head back to Kiabra, like I said, like I promised you. Um, I'm gonna try and take some pictures as I go along, uh, properly this time. And then after that, I'm going to go into some shops, see if I can find something, and hopefully try and record some shit. And then, of course, then after that, we're pretty much going to end it for the day. So, pretty much, most of, the, the, most of this video now is going to be pretty much um, filming a lot of Akihabara. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> I can definitely tell you that cocaine is one hell of a drug. In the hotel room, apologies if I didn't vlog anything like, you know, pretty much, you know, in the shops or anything. It's because, as you guys know, this is day one and like I said, I'm just scalping, you know, scouting out on where to find stuff and all that lot. But, as I was scouting around, I did find things and I literally went there and then I did not want to waste my time and go, go back and get them. I just went ahead and bought them my way. One thing, I'm definitely possibly going to be probably getting myself one more box of it and then possibly the rest. I'm just going to try and find them single-handedly. So, yeah. Um, so, the first thing I want to show you is this. This is the um, Secret Ulity Box. Now, what I know about this item is that it's like our version of uh, Magnificent Maven's Mama. So, um, pretty much with this, you get yourself a deck box, pack of sleeves, special card dividers, and I think you get some special cards in it as well. I'm not 100% certain. Um, but yeah. There's about six of them to obtain. And like I said, I want to open up one for the channel. And I'm going to probably get one and keep it sealed. But all the rest of them, if I can find all the colours individually in stores for like maybe a thousand yen a piece. Or maybe two thousand yen. I'll go ahead and just do it that way. Because I know if I buy these over and over again, more likely I'm going to get Lord Doubles. So, yeah, if I can literally find all of them, all literally one after the other, I'm fine with it. Even the sleeves, I don't mind picking up the sleeves for randomness. Um, but I need to double check and research them on their website to see on which ones are there. Now, for game-wise, now, just to let you guys know, I did look at the Yu-Gi-Oh! and I did look at the Pokemon cards. There is a lot, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff that I want. Mainly the, um, spe the special 25th anniversary booster box. It's fucking sold out 
everywhere. Everybody's sought after it. Everybody's bought it. Um, and sadly for me, I missed out on it. Hopefully they get a new stock of it or something like that. They should do within a week or so. But there is literally every single store has them all out for sale, the singles. And literally there is like collector rare 25th anniversary ash blossom that was selling for like 4,000 yen each that's too expensive but luckily that set consists of a, a load of ultras slash supers with a secret or a starlight or an ultimate and all that lot the ultimates and the starlights are quite cheap same thing with the supers it's mainly the collector rare one the 25th anniversary card is the one that's worth the most if you want to get that and have it all blinged out go ahead and do that i don't mind it i'd love to get one of on my personal favourite one, sure thing, sure. But the ones I'm going to go after are like the ones that I know is purely meta in the United Kingdom. So Baron de Fuhrer, or I call it Adolf Hitler. You get yourself, to be honest, I want Maxi. I know it's banned in the UK, but I want it. Um, there's Ash Blossoms, that was also cheap as well, if you had them in lower rarities. I saw Ludwig Geckis. Literally, all meta cards you never think of. And... For some reason, I couldn't see. I couldn't even see one single pot of greed for some weird reason. Where's the fucking pot of greed? But whatever. But also, I have also found a jewel disc that I was actually looking for, which was from Speed Rush Jewel, which has the secret rare um, prismatic starlight secret rare dark magician girl, and I saw it for about nine thousand yen in one shop, and then the other shops had it for like seven thousand yen. I don't know which one to choose. I think I go for the expensive one because it looked like you get yourself an extra special card. If that happens. Fantastic. If it's not, it's my fault. I know I should have learned better. Now, um, Pokemon. Understandable now. It's fucking expensive. I have never seen Pokemon cards be that expensive in a long ass time. Like I said, I haven't been here for over five years, people. And like I said, I told you, I bought a Charizard card for literally 100 yen. 80 pence. I'll, the, last, the, the cheapest Charizard I saw today was 12,000 yen. And it was in good condition, don't get me wrong, it was really good condition, but about 60, 60, 61, 62 quid, it's still quite steep for a Charizard card. I loved my Charizards, I like buying them all the time, but even like the standard V cards or the GXs, they're like 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 yen. Holy shit, do you need, do you, oh, it's, it is quite annoying, because I really like to get all these Pokemon items and all that, but like you guys know me, I like buying booster packs and all that lot, and do course, Pokemon Center's there, I can easily go get some there. Um, pretty much for Yu-Gi-Oh! sealed stuff, I saw quite a lot of it. Um, mostly a lot, a lot of Rush Jewel, and I love to try and get a Rush Jewel collection going because I've never started playing Rush Jewel because we don't have it in the UK. We have Speed Jewel, which, for, which pe pretty much people freaking hate, but Rush Jewel is a completely different game. Hopefully it does come over to the UK because it is a great game, to be honest, and it's a lot more straightforward as well. Um, but anyhow, time for the games. Now, I did, like I said, I did scout out all over Akiawa. I didn't go everywhere because, number one, my stomach was doing the wax up seas because I'm still um, suffering from the travelling thingy, you know, the, the airplane shits, as you guys know. <laughs> um, but I've got some that's we've, that you guys have already seen, but I picked up some other ones that I actually missed out in book off, and thankfully I picked them up because they were the ones I needed. So as you guys know, I've already told you about Senran Kagura, the um, the verses, Fatal Frame made in the Black Water, Shimigani Tensei 3 Nocturne Plus, which is great, um, Mystic Quest on the Super Famicom, and now for the PSP, we got ourselves Final Fantasy Type Zero, fantastic, I'm happy with that, Persona 1 on the PSP. I haven't got the English version. I can't seem to find it anywhere. And if I do, it's freaking expensive. So, hell of it. 1,500 yen. I'll take it. And then, Shin Megami Tensei 4. 4. 3,255 yen. That's really, really good. That's the one that we never had in the UK. This is the one we don't have, people. Okay? So, this is the only way to get it. Unless you want to get it from the States. But that's even costing even more expensive. But we do have this one. But it's the price for this game in the UK is over two hundred pound. I got this for six thousand yet. I'll take that any day. And that's Shimigami Tensei Four Apocalypse. This is pretty much the FES edition of Shimigami Tensei Four, and it's complete. Freaking complete, people! Literally complete. 
you can't go you can't get any better than that people it's amazing and like i said the 3ds is region free anyway unless you have the new 3ds's well, that's why i got old 3ds's knocking about so i can play them same thing with my psp and my ps2 i've got a japanese ps2 now and but the only thing that is not region locked that's um that is region locked is the wii u but i don't really care i just want to stick in my collection now what else did i see when I was scouting around for video games, I did not see a single game of the Virtual Boy. That's probably because I haven't gone to Super Potato yet. I know Super Potato has Virtual Boy games, and I want to get them. Um, I did see some Game & Watch games. I saw the Legend of Zelda one in uh, Mandrake, and there was a price there, but fucking hell, it was quite big. But I'm sure that in CX, they sell it for freaking loads and like and you guys know me the people saying wait a minute so you buying it to resale it's pretty much to make a lot more money and go into my bank account that's what it's pretty much going to be doing uh, the game and watch uh, do, 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 the game and watches here we are um, sort out to the highest price go so a mint one for the legend of zelda cash 273 76 pound in cash Voucher 318. Quite 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 a big massive jump that is. Um but like I said, I don't think it is mint. They may say it's mint, but I don't think it is. So I'm gonna class it as box either way. And the price for box one is a little bit less, I think. Ooh, it's a big jump, it's a big drop. Uh, 165 pounds in cash, 191 pound in voucher. So now I know what it's looking at in the price range. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I have an idea what the price is looking at. And there was other gaming watches there as well, which I have to check out as well. And hopefully they're not too expensive either. <sighs> I got hope my hunches were all right. Because I have people who have come here before me during the COVID. And they said that the price is skyrocketed. And yeah, some things have skyrocketed. Mostly Pokemon. But anything else, it's still the same price, to be honest. Um, probably because, of course, there is inflation as well with um, with money and everything, because people had no jobs, people had to make money, all that lot, you know, shit, shit, all that bullshit. But still, the Japanese still worked during, throughout COVID, so there shouldn't be anything going wrong. But like I said, the Pokemon one, the reason why that was expensive is because the one and only Logan Paul did it. He was the one that inflated it all, and that's what made people go crazy for it. And I think that's why the Japanese have decided to boost up the prices as well. Anyhow, I'm going to finish off my protein bar that I didn't finish up before and the Kit Kat. Um, I'm going to have a few little um, quick drinks and I'm going to head into Walton's to see Uncle. Um, I might take my camera with me just to see how he's doing and how he's keeping. And uh, I'm going to probably have something to eat there and drink there as well um, until the night's over. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye! A few moments later. Honey! No, funny, funny Anthony. No, funny Anthony. No, no, no. Kaku, kaku ni Anthony. Yeah. Ota, ota pilo sa yo. No. YouTube de ure nawa koi koi kao da. He looks perfect tonight. Let's go, 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 yeah. Let's go, go. To the end.